I think I might know a great event that's happening yeah. uh, this Saturday night at the uh, Odawa Native Friendship Center. It's their 16th annual uh, fundraising art auction. Here to talk about it is one of their artists and the organizer, uh, Simon Brockoupe. Great to have you on the show. Yeah, good morning. And uh, yeah. a big event for you guys on Saturday night. Yeah. So what can people expect for the evening? Well, we've been planning it for several months. Uh, a lot of people show up around 6 o'clock, view the art. There's over 60 pieces of artwork from all over Canada, northwest coast. And uh, people will have a dinner at 6.30. Mm -hmm. We open with a prayer. We have an elder come in and uh, bless the food and bless the event. And then there's some entertainment. We have Inuit throat singers, uh, someone playing a guitar. We have a, um, a silent auction, and sometimes we have... 30 pieces, sometimes we have 100 pieces. Uh, it's amazing to see, and a lot yeah. of the, you, you have a variety of different artwork that's coming in. So, we, yeah. you know, this is an example of your work. You work right. with stencils. Yep. Uh, and then I had to figure this one out. This yeah. is a print uh, with a, a shark. It's a shark. It's a highly stylized Northwest Coast um, artwork. It's, um, you can see the shark teeth. You recognize that. And there's some fins and actually looks like a nice little airplane, uh, some but it's beautiful. And you're getting, what kind of pieces would you be getting in? Because you've got you know, over 60 artists coming from all over the country. We have Woodlands Art. One of our major pieces is a Daphne Ojig. It's a dancer. It's, it was done in, I think, in the 70s. So its value is about $2,600. Last year, we sold a Inuit print for a uh, little over two thousand dollars so we're hoping to raise twenty thousand dollars in the evening uh, this is a, a big fundraiser for the center so what kind of programs uh, are you looking to be able to find the funds to be able to have it and the types of programs that you're offering there's programs for the entire family a lot of people come to Ottawa there's 21,000 First Nations Inuit and Métis people here 21,000 21,000 so we need programs for children there's a big emphasis on uh, healthy children babies right up to elders, families, cultural programming. The uh, Friendship Center has a wonderful program for high school students, mm -hmm. alternative high school. So there's so, a, there's a yeah. lot that you're doing on a daily basis yeah. at, at the center. Uh, and, and is it uh, a, a very community oriented? I think when you have people that are coming yeah. from around the country that this is really a home, a home ground for them. Well, most of the people that go, about half of them are uh, from the community and then we have supporters from the community. So everybody's invited. It's only $40. Uh, you get entertained, food, and lots of fun, I think. Uh, for, the, for the actual evening. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to ask you something about your art, because this is something that's been passed down generations for you in terms of what your family, the art that you enjoy doing. Yeah. Well, I'm Algonquin from Gideon Zibi. It's an hour and a half north of Ottawa. And our ancestors used a stencil technique called pushoir on our birch bark baskets. So I applied it to uh, sort of contemporary acrylic paint. These are... Um, Canada geese and it's apropos for the evening because it's uh, a community. The community uh, pulls together and makes things a little bit easier for everybody. Uh, it's beautiful to see and are you, is it hard to part with the art once it's uh, up for auction? Not for me. Not some, for some pieces I do but uh, I don't like, donate a lot of art through the year. And well it's, it's wonderful yeah. that, that you know it's going to a good, good use. Do you have the uh, glove? I really yeah. want to show these. These are amazing. So. And, what are, and what's the story with this? This was donated. It's from the Northwest Territories. It's uh, traditionally uh, tanned, smoked tanned. It's got a nice little it smell to it. It has a great smell to it. And uh, the beadwork is beautiful. So um, we're hoping to get maybe $200, $300 for that. Uh, lots of opportunity. Of course, it's happening uh, this Saturday. The information is listed on your screen if you're looking to get involved and, and want to be a part of it. And maybe for future artists, they know where to, uh, to be able to show their work. We are going to uh, check back in. Speaking of artwork, we're checking back in with uh, Fleetwood Studios, which is great. Right off the exit of Bankfield at the corner of uh, Prince of Wales. Sarah Freemark checking things out there this morning.